the one one hundred things to do before high school, which I think is a pretty darn good show. Now, it's easily the best live action show in kids television in the twenty tens. This show is amazing as far as these live action shows come. The show has evolved from a basic show that has like character archetypes to probably one of the funniest shows you'll ever see. It plays with the extreme and it knows it's a goofy show. And lately, it's really taken it up a level. It, for example, this most recent episode that aired tonight, well, let's just say it was about, um, so it was about the characters sitting at different lunch tables and sparking three different conflicts. And we get to see an enemy mine done really well. Like, I really recommend this episode, that episode. Other times we have funny virus thing. And yeah, the, one of the few flaws the show has is the characters win too often. But I kind of think it's, and it's kind of shown exactly where all the characters are coming from. The characters work um, geniusly off of each other, especially with all their elements uh, exaggerated. I just want to say that one of the things to do before high school has gone from easily the best Nick Lott or a good live action show on in the decade to the best of the decade. And you know what? It's probably in my top 10 kids shows of the decade. So please give it a shout shot. All the characters are well written. The friendship is amazing. The family is amazing. The dynamics, they get these dynamics down to a T. And only occasionally do, and it really develops its characters well. So thanks for watching. Please check this show out.